Hello, hello there. How are we doing? Hey, can you believe we're on day nine of our energy boosting video series uh, for breast cancer survivors? I hope that you're enjoying it. I would love to know what you are trying and what is resonating with you so that I can bring you some more of that, honestly. And today we're going to talk about something that you may not consider at all as being something that's going to have an impact on your energy level. And you may notice that theme throughout our entire series, right? Because sometimes we have to step back and get out of the minutia of life for us to notice how things really affect our energy level. Mind, body, spirit, right? There's energy in, in all of those different areas. So today we're gonna to be talking about why accepting a compliment can boost your energy. Interesting one, right? I'm your host, Karen Del Maestro, health coach, self care coach, breast cancer, and BRCA2 thriver. And it is an honor to have you join me here today. Thank you for being here. And throughout this 30 day energy boosting series, we're talking about primarily four different pillars. We're talking about how food can impact our energy levels, we're talking about how stress can impact our energy levels. We're talking about how toxins can impact our energy levels. And we're talking about how lack of self-care can impact our energy levels. Now, self-care, obviously, we know is my jam. And it kind of is the umbrella that encompasses all of those things. So when our self-care is on point, all of those other things are going to fall into place much more naturally. So, you know, I remember years ago before I learned how to uh, accept a compliment and just say thank you. I, I remember, you know, let me back up even a little bit more, right? Um, I grew up very shy, painfully, painfully shy, um, with zero self-esteem, zero self-confidence. Um, I was teased a lot. We moved around a lot. I was teased a lot for how I looked, for the fact that I was so tall and I had bad posture and I was smart and I was teased all the time, like many of you, right? We all have our things from childhood that make us who we are today. And I remember growing up and being like so painfully embarrassed if somebody paid me a compliment it was almost like oh my gosh somebody noticed me let me hide right let me <laughs> disappear into a corner or wishing that the ground would just open up and swallow me like I used to feel that way if somebody paid me a compliment you might relate to this right you can feel uncomfortable and what I used to do was I used to Instead of accepting that compliment, I used to like negate it almost. So if somebody said, Karen, your hair looks great today. Um, I would be immediately like, oh my God, what, really? No, this is just luck. Or I just got it done at the hairdressers. They can do it okay. And I can't. And, or I would find some way of just missing that compliment immediately. If I got some cogs turning, are you thinking about you doing the same thing? Right? Or if somebody compliments your outfit and you're like, what, this old thing? It's been in the closet for ages. Or, oh, I got it on sale. It's, it's nothing. Or like, we always feel like we have to give an excuse, a story, a something that kind of washes away the compliment. And what that does is it stops us from being able to actually take it in and accept it in the spirit in which it was given. Think about this. When you pay somebody a compliment, do you pay them the compliment because you mean it? Chances are you do. Most of us do, right? We paid somebody a compliment because we mean it. We genuinely mean it. And what a gift to be given that compliment and be able to just accept it and say, thank you. Thank you. And that compliment then affects our self-esteem, self-worth, self-acceptance, body acceptance, all of these things that snowball from the simplicity of a compliment. 
right? Now, you know, as a kid, I remember feeling I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't thin enough. I wasn't this enough. I never felt like I was good enough. And you too may be plagued by the, what I call the not enoughness of the many scenarios in which we all grow up, where we all weren't given what we thought that we deserved, what we wanted, what we thought was normal um, for us to get. And so sometimes these compliments can feel very, very uncomfortable. I am going to challenge you today that the next time somebody pays you a compliment that you just say, thank you. Now, can you tell the difference energetically there? Right, let's try that again. Like how much of my energy am I spending when somebody pays me a compliment? So if somebody pays me a compliment and I just say, thank you, like heartfelt, like I'm bringing it into my heart, thank you. Versus, oh my gosh, my hair, yeah, I just woke up this way. It's this, it's that, it's the other, it's, oh, it's just this, yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah, nah, not really. Do you see the difference in the energy level? One is very positive, right? Positive, affirming, energizing. And the other, as we're repelling this compliment and bringing up all of our negative thoughts about ourselves, all of those feelings of not feeling deserving and being enough to repel that compliment and push it away from ourselves. There's a difference in the energy that it takes. There's a difference in the energy that it brings into our body, right? I know which one I want to feel. Which one do you want to feel? Do you want to feel that joy, that love, that acceptance, that self-acceptance? I want that for you. I know how good that feels. It took me decades to get there. I want to shortcut that for you, <laughs> right? Or do you want to continue on the same path, pushing away and repelling those compliments? Because for some reason, you feel like you don't deserve it, that you're not worthy or valid. And especially now, as a breast cancer survivor, chances are your, the identity that you have of yourself has changed massively. Often who we see in the mirror is very different after our breast cancer journey than it was before. Maybe our body itself has changed. Maybe our hair has changed. Maybe the way that we think about things has changed. Maybe it's all three. For most of us, it is, right? Our perspective on life can change. And so we have to learn who we are at this point in time. And I'm telling you right now, I'm giving you permission to accept every single compliment that comes your way. Bring it into your heart. Be grateful for it and understand that you deserve it, that you are worthy of that compliment. You are worthy of feeling good in your skin, accepting who you are, how you look, not tearing yourself apart when you look in the mirror, but being grateful for the fact that you're still here. And so if somebody's saying to you, hey, you know what, you look really good today, then you just say, thank you. Thank you and bring it into your heart and let that negative stuff just go. It's weighing you down energetically as well as physically. It's weighing you down when you can just say thank you and feel good and light and vibrant about it and understand that often what other people see in us is the beauty of our mind, body, spirit way before we do, way before we do. But let that influence you more than the negative stuff that we heard growing up from people who didn't understand us, from people who didn't know any better. We get to choose that. And we get to decide what we bring in to our mind, to our heart, to our soul. Does that make sense? I hope so. And so to end today, First of all, if you haven't yet picked it up, make sure that you're getting your calendar so that you can follow along here so that you can remind yourself on those days where you're not having a good day or you're not feeling so energetic. Oh, let me look at my calendar. What can I pick from today to do? 
right? That's why I love cheat sheets. I can't remember it all, you know, and some of that guess is the breast cancer journey, but some of it is, you know what, I'm 55 years old. I mean, surge, thrown into surgical menopause after breast cancer. Life is chaotic. I need cheat sheets to remind, remember things. That's not me failing. That's me doing what I need to do to set myself up for success. And that's what I want you to be able to do too, right? Set yourself up for success. So I try to provide the easy tips so that you can do that. That's exactly what I'm about, right? Because just learning something is not the same as being able to implement it and do it. We all know that. So I want to finish up today by extending a compliment. And I want you to please accept it into your heart. And whether you and I have met in person yet or not, I want you to know that you are beautiful inside and out. And how do I know that? How am I able to say that if we haven't even yet met? Well, number one, you are here listening to a video that's to help you get more energy, right? You're looking to improve your circumstance. You're looking to improve your life. Those are my peeps. That's my tribe. People who are seekers and who are looking to change and grow and learn. That is something that I find beautiful. That's why I can say that with total confidence. It's not BS. It's coming from my heart to yours. So please accept that. And look out tomorrow for tomorrow's tip. Okay. Again, I'm Karen Del Maestro, extending a sincere compliment that I just want you to say thank you and accept and hold into your heart. You can find me over at karendelmeister.com or in the Healthy Living After Breast Cancer Facebook community. And I want you to have a really wonderful, wonderful day and start accepting those compliments and just saying thank you. It's going to feel weird in the beginning. It is. It's going to feel really awkward, but you're going to get used to it quicker than you could ever imagine, trust me, when you realize how good it actually feels. Okay, bye for now. I will see you tomorrow. Have an amazing, amazing day.